got it. No. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Siblings react and drink. Woo. My name is Rick. This is my lovely sister. Janice. And today we're continuing. Band of Brothers. All right. Episode 7. Yeah. This one is called The Breaking Point. Mm hmm. Wow. They got their asses, you know. Mm hmm. Even though they don't admit it, they need a rescuing. But yeah, it was. Yeah. Tough. Go out on patrol, land in other people's yeah. uh, trenches, the, the German trenches. Right. No munitions, no food, no boots. <laughs> They're, it's rough, man. They're having a hard time. It's. It's bad enough there's an enemy, but there's all these things working against you. you know? The elements, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're just going to jump in. What all are we right. drinking? So we are having some Moscato, which of course is sweet, you know, or sort of sweet. So cheers to that. Here we go. Cheers. Oh yeah, it's not... Slancha, Prost. It's not too, too sweet. Chin, chin. Not bad. It's good. Yeah, I thought it was going to be super sweet. It's not. Yeah. Just perfect. perfect. Okay. And this was sent over by a, a subscriber also? No, oh, this one This one I bought. Okay. It was last time, I think. Uh, G, yeah. We were, yeah, we got a nice package from G. Yeah. Uh, we killed a couple of bottles in our <laughs> different reaction. That was yesterday. Right. But today, it, it's not. Right. So, does this series make you appreciate veterans more? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I already appreciate them, you know. <laughs> it's like anybody who goes out there to to do what they do and, you know, make things easier for us, you know. And obviously not everyone that goes to the military gets to go to war, but, right. you know, they're willing to go to the war. The fact that they're willing know? to go is huge because not everybody, I really am so thankful for that. So is that. Yeah. Even though you join during peacetime, you don't know when when you're going to be needed, sent. Like, yeah. yeah, absolutely. This is. It doesn't take too many days of that, and you. Yeah, yeah. these guys all trained together for like two years before this. Right. So it's a lot they of bonds, a lot They're of very friendships. Close knit group. Yeah. Then, civilians beside. Oh yeah, civilians the ones. Uh, animals. So. Psh. Yeah. yeah. The smell. Imagine that. Well, it's winter, so that helped. And the experience, man. Nobody can possibly know what that's like unless they're there. And you never forget them. Oh, man. Yeah, you can push them inside for a little bit, I guess. Yeah. January 2, 45. Our dance forest in Belgium. Mm. February 2, Mom's birthday. The woods near the town of Foy, in preparation for what we all knew would be the eventual assault on Foy itself. Yeah, those door-to-door -door fighting, man, it's never good. Urban warfare. <laughs> Kill him or capture him. No, I'm gonna capture him. <laughs> no. He missed! Oh, right. Wow. Hmm. Where's Dyke? He's, uh, he's around. Could you be a little more specific there, Sergeant? Which one is Dyke again? He's a lieutenant. Yeah, but I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know. He's never around. Usually <laughs> <laughs> these people ask, looking for him. Sarge. Okay, what the hell is this? Sniper. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus, it's who we shot. Sniper? No, no, he, he shot himself. What? Oh, man. Shot himself. Just what happened? What happened? Just what happened? What are you doing with a loaded gun in your pants? Oh, with the Luger? Who? Where are you hit? To my left. Okay, hold on. Hold on. That's messed up, man. Well, maybe he shot himself. I don't know. People used to shoot themselves or stab themselves so they can get off the line. Mm. But, but so far, these guys are hardcore, man. The guy with no socks, you know, I'm not staying off the line. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're a great uh, shot. You're a great shot. Come on, baby. And see the one that got the. Oh no, this guy got the Luger. So it's somebody else. Take it easy. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, what is that? Oh Bone? man. We're gonna be fine. I can't see a thing. We gotta get back to an aid station. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Right, let's get ready. Oh shit. Oh, he's, he's let out. He's done. Doc. It's Doc. It's too late. Wow. Oh man. He hit the main artery. Yeah. Then you bleed out. 
quickly, you know. That oh. sucks, man. Shot himself by accident or... Yeah. Well, I was, uh, I was there, sir. Huh. Afraid it might as well be me. Hmm. Yeah, chain of command. Hmm. Or the lieutenant supposed to report to this guy. This guy's, uh, forgot what rank he is now. Yeah. At present, as per usual, but I'll clarify that with you at a later time, Lieutenant Compton. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's not, it seems like he just goes away to be out of, you know, like he's not... Yeah. In danger. She you know doesn't I mean? want to be asked questions or something. Or, like but said, I mean, just makes no for decisions. safety. I feel like he goes away for safety and then he comes back every so often and he doesn't really make any decisions. Sit around freezing her ass off, singing Dyke's praises. <laughs> <laughs> How could anyone really hope to gain the respect of the toughest, most perfect? <laughs> <laughs> This guy's going in deep. So this one's not too too deep. Yeah. But I always wonder about that too. Like when it's not so deep and you're kind of like sticking out. Yeah, I would be, make mine very you know. deep <laughs> if I could. And sometimes where they're just hanging out, like standing up or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Best news I've heard in weeks. Yeah. Hell sure. of a guy. All Hell right. of a guy. Thanks, guys. I mean, it really means a lot, you know? Oh, right. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave it to somebody that really deserves a vacation, probably. Mm. All right, Nick. What do they got waiting for us in Foy? At least one company. Money, man. Wars are not uh, cheap. Mm. United States got a lot of loans from Saudi Arabia, I think, oh. from Arab countries to have. Keep up the good work. While you're at it, you might want to reinforce your cover. Oh well, actually, sir, Lieutenant Dykes are not even to bother. They're only going to be here one day. Hmm. And Dykes said that, huh? Hmm. I don't forget what I said. <laughs> hey, you want to listen to him? That's okay. Oh, anyone care for smoke? <gasps> no. I'd be like, no, 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 please, no. I, I quit. <laughs> you? No, 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 no. He's like, no, no way. Man. Late in the afternoon on January 3rd, we returned to our old position in the woods overlooking Foy. Ah! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Ew. What? There were signs of tree bursts everywhere. That got our attention. They didn't even... Yeah, noise discipline, people. Yep, stop they screaming. Took, they took a dump in the foxholes because they didn't want to get out. Hmm? Right, Lieutenant? Fine. Let's dike, right? I'll take care of it. Yeah. I got to go talk to regiment. <laughs> oh, my God. These guys. Yeah, because they're like planning, you know, should we go back? Should we stay? What they're do we do? They're pretty much on their own with the planning. That dike guy is useless with that. Maybe he'll come through on through on something, but right now he hasn't. They said he's some rich guy, right? That just they, uh, they're assuming know. that he's like a Yale rich guy, whatever. But who knows, you know? I mean, in order to go up in rank, you need to have some battle experience, yeah. I guess. So spend a few months here or a few weeks, or I don't know, and then send them back. Yeah. Oh shit! Take cover! Oh no! Yeah, no wonder they didn't come, they just... Oh, That's kind of crazy to hold the line so close to the town, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'd be taking a dump in my own fox hole. <laughs> right? Yeah, but then you pick it up and... <gasps> that tree, oh my god, there. it totally just fell there. Oh. oh no. Yeah. People were far away from the foxholes. <laughs> oh, what, what did he say about Joe? Uh, uh, oh. Boy? This is the guy that just came back from yeah. three days from being injured in the right. arm or whatever. Oh man. Yeah, I saw that they got him pretty good. Oh no. Lost a leg or something. Oh. Wow, she oh, sure my did. God. Ah. That's Holy a gun. shit. Stay in your foxholes! Stay in your foxholes! Help! Help anyone yet! Mm, well, yeah, the tree fell. Strapping. The, oh, the did tree you see fell. The tree fell right on the foxhole. So the guy's kind of trapped in there. I gotta get up. Lieutenant Dyke picked a good time to go to 
yeah. like the regiment or whatever of he course. said he was going. Yeah, good timing on his part. At least he's not bleeding, man. Hang on. You okay? See, that's the one that the tree fell. Well, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good cover there. I mean, I think he's Come lucky on! that the tree like stopped. Yeah, yeah. You know, and didn't. But that get gives him. you some cover, I guess. Yeah. From other shit falling on you. Yeah, what's the point of holding the line so close? I mean, it's not like you can... Well, the enemy can take the position, but... Yeah. Oh, fuck. They both got it. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, another Timber. tree. Oh, man. And those trees are... That kills you, you know? That's so heavy. If you're under, just... Yeah. You're done. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait. What about Garnier? Oh, so he's still. Oh, they're both there. They what? got their legs messed up, though. I thought they were. Who, who are we just seeing then? But I know something happened to him when he saw Toy and Garnier on the ground. Mm. Somebody you know. I think I said for... Normandy before, but it was Holland. Okay. Especially the part about what he said to me. It doesn't do anybody any good, okay? Yeah. I got you. All right. <laughs> oh no man I thought the forest would give him protection but those think the trees explode yeah Got the helmet just flew away. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they don't have it fucking. Yeah. What do you call that? Uh... Tight. Yeah. Snap. Strapped on. Yeah. What's the word? Well, the men on the line are okay. Bertie's just been resupplied. We're in good shape. Okay, we'll just hunker down. We might get some relief soon. Uh huh. Okay? All right. Mm. Yeah, well, how long can they stay on the hole in this position? Yeah. When are they going to attack? What the hell? They, well, they're still clearing the woods around the town. But in the meantime... But I knew the terror of those shellings and the unrelenting pressure we've been under since we got to Bastogne could take their toll in other ways. I was afraid the men would lose focus. But therapy takes years, man. It's not like you can go in for a couple right. of weeks well, and, all right, you're good, go back. <laughs> and it's not for everybody either. Yeah. You know, it's each person will handle it differently. He's going to have to make decisions, sir, and I... I got to tell you, sir, I think he's going to get a lot of easy company men killed. Wow. Thank you, Sergeant. That'll be all. Mm. Yes, sir. Now but, it's up to... Uh, his hands are tied, too, he said, because this guy's like... Uh, but now it's with Winters, you know? Like, Winters been trying to get rid of him, yeah. too, but he said... Like, he they knows it's all true. do it. But nothing he can do. Remove a company CEO, especially a well-connected one, because... See? See, well-connected. The guy's... Get connections. Yeah. Keep it moving! Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, and they're flanking them too on the side, but... They gotta run and get some cover. Man. Will you move? Get me Foley on the radio. Get out of there! Move! So I think we should take cover. They told him, don't stop until you get some cover. Oh, my God. And this guy made him stop in the, right there. Fall back! Fall back! Oh, man. Was that a German speaking in English? Fire? Or is that how you say fire in German? Mm. Hurry, go on me. Fall back! Fall back? What do you mean, fall back? Yeah, he's getting people killed by not even knowing what to do. Ooh. Oh man, there's oh, a guy up there. Shit. What? I believe you can talk to Captain Winner, sir. Captain told what he needed to do. He's not doing it. He's not good at that. It's not, you know. When we attack from the rear. Ramirez, two guys, take him. Go. See, this guy's got to follow those stupid orders, I guess. Yeah. Oh man. 
Now they're out in the open. How can you move around back when you being hit? You can't even get out here. On the other side of the town, you see the side of them go. Radio, any no, sir. No, sir, I think they're gonna pull back. If we don't connect with that, they're gonna slip away. That's right. Wait here. <laughs> wait here. The other guy would say, "Wait here. I'm gonna go get help." <laughs> at first, the Germans didn't shoot at him. I think they couldn't quite believe. Yeah. He's running in. But that wasn't the really astounding. Wow. Oh. He ran right past him. Was that after he hooked up with I Company, he came back. He, he told I Company what to do, and now he's back here. Mm. This guy, is, I think he's, he was telling uh, Blind one time, or somebody, that... You think you're going to survive this. You just got to pretend you're dead, and then you can function as a soldier. Yeah. <laughs> And prisoners. After that, it was mostly clean. Man, that was amazing. Second floor, building on the right. Don't miss Shifty. Oh, he's got to get him. Don't miss. So they got their own sniper here. Kind of, sort of. Got him. He didn't miss. That's good. So this guy. But we gained a good one in the end. So I guess we came out ahead. Spears. So mm -hmm. now Spears is their commander, <laughs> their lieutenant. Because he was from Dog Company. He was transferred to E Company. Yeah. Acting about how Tercius lopped off the heads of some Carthaginian prisoners. Mm. Well, maybe they kept talking about it because they never heard Tercius deny it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's because Tercius. There was some value to the men thinking he was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole Roman Legion. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. That's probably why he did it, too. Yeah. Or he's just a psycho killer. <laughs> Either way, it's good it's in our side. Winner's put in for a battlefield commission and sink approved on your behalf. You should get the official nod. And mm. Wow. Wow. Oh, so they can go out. Nice. I didn't know that. Nice. Good. Well, it was a war, I guess, that helped them. A battlefield commission. Yeah. It's good. I mean, soldiers don't make a lot of money. Even now. Yeah, which the is The regular sad. soldier makes... That's a, it's 20 grand insane. a year, I think, or something like it's that. not right, you know? Enjoy the walk, boys! This guy became a smoker. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lipton, yeah. So it's gonna be lieutenant. That's good. I know how much that means in pay, probably, but you know. I mean, a regular paratrooper was making a hundred bucks a, a month, a week, in a month. I was a hundred bucks a month. Want to read that for us? Beyond the wounded and killed, every man at the stone suffered. Men unhit by shrap uh, shrapnel or bullets were nevertheless casualties. Stephen E. Ambrose. Oh. Man, a little I'm not sure that anybody who lived through that one hasn't carried with them, in some hidden ways, the scars. Perhaps that is the factor that helps keep easy men bonded so unusually close together. Captain Richard Winters. Mm. Yeah, it's unimaginable, man, how the, the guy, what's his name, uh, Toy, he got hurt, spent three days at the in the hospital and came back on the line and then ended up losing that leg. Jesus. And he was already in danger before that, like earlier, just from the cold and, you know, he was going to lose, lose his foot, like, the, you know, like he didn't have the proper boots and all that stuff, you know. And You're right, he had, like, gangrene or something you said it, might, it was, gonna, it might he was gonna develop yeah but also if i remember correctly on episode one on d-day mm. when they were attacking those uh 88s they mm. were attacking uh they he had a grenade or two grenades right i don't Explode remember actually yeah near him and he <laughs> he survived that yeah one of them was a, a german grenade and then the other one i think was one of the american soldiers dropped the grenade Everyone jumped out and he stayed and 
He's, they call him, you lucky bastard. Yeah, right. right, right. Maybe that's why he said here, what do, what do you have to do to get killed around here? <laughs> yeah, man. Well, he's not coming back from this one, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, going home. And I don't know, Garnier also, his leg was in bad shape. I mean... Uh, but they said he ended up dying, right? They hit it? I don't know. Like it said something like he died accidentally? No, that's the guy that shot himself with the Luger. The guy oh, that at the beginning oh, okay, he okay. shot some yeah. guy and uh, I mean they, the guys they lost Garnier was in in the list mm. but the guy that shot himself accidentally was the guy that came, shot himself from mm. the in okay. the leg with the Luger. He said he just went off. I don't know if he was in his. I think somebody said he had it in his pocket and the gun went off. Yeah. Whatever the case is, it's amazing how some people made it out. And then the survivors get the what's you know what's called survivor's guilt too. They of just course, can't comprehend yeah. why why am I alive? Yeah, and, and their friends are dying. Everyone and else getting killed. And, yeah, and hard for them to move on. You mm -hmm. know, for some people or I guess or some soldiers. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your service. Um, yes, absolutely. Great series, very realistic. Great, great job that Spielberg and Tom Hanks Tom yeah. Hanks did and who, everyone else that was involved here right anything else you want to say nope goodbye later <laughs>